I'll have to cut you off for being an idiot. Right, Kenny, are you there, Kenny? Hi, Scotty. Hello, son, how are you? I'm not too bad. A wee bit up to high door. Are you up to high door, Kenny? Aye. Right, go on, why is that? Yeah, I'm a first time caller, Scotty, I'm a wee bit nervous. Oh, listen, what are you nervous of, son? I'm just speaking from the radio. Well, don't worry about that, I do it every night and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, I've, I've heard you a few times, uh, the first time around, and recently since you came back on air. Of course. Uh, and I've heard you giving advice to certain people if you can, if it's possible. If we can, Ken, yeah. Now, I'm getting married in the near future. Well, damn uh, it. I, think, I had I a think big, big give, fight with my, my fiancé this I'll, evening. I'll give you a wee dose of the clap there. <laughs> just That's just, that's just a wee bit of encouragement. The studio Much audience, appreciated the studio story, audience but, um, obviously approved of you there. Ah, uh, world of good. Now then. Now, I had a wee falling out with her this evening over yes. something that's a wee bit silly. Now, now, just before you say, when did you say you were hoping to get married? I, I don't want to uh, divulge too much information in case anybody knows who it is, you know. I oh, shouldn't you think they do? There's 60 million folk could be listening, yeah. so I wouldn't you worry. What, um, in about six weeks. About six weeks, right. Yeah. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Right, go yeah. on. So, yeah. you had a wee falling out. Tell us uh, a bit more. See, my, my parents don't really give her the time of day, Scotty, and mm. it's been quite difficult for us. Uh, under a wee bit of pressure. Do they think like she's not post. good enough for you? Eh, I don't know what the problem is, Scotty. They'll just... I mean, you can be honest about it. If that's what they think, that could be the thing. Probably. So they think, I you know... I really don't know Nobody's good enough. Understand. Are your parents quite proper people? No, that's not... No, I wouldn't say that, no. You know, I mean, do they sort of, uh, you know, have they got very high standards? Eh, I think he's just... Saying his way, Scott, he's a wee bit old fashioned. Well, you're old man. Think, aye. Aye. What, 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 what age are you, Robert? Eh, Sorry, Kenny, I beg your pardon, Robert. I'm 30. 30, alright, so aye, you're, you're, not, you're not just a, a, a wee bear, mate. No, no, we've been, we've been living, my fiance and myself have been living together for the past five years. So oh, right. Oh, well, heavens. Now, listen, can I tell you what I think's going on? Well, you tell me a bit more, and then I'll, I'll tell you what well, I think's going on. I mean,. Eh, uh, how can I explain it? It's a wee bit hard to explain. I've not really talked to anybody about it before, that's why. Well, but you're doing very you know. well with it. You're doing uh, very well with it. We're getting on fine, aren't we? You and me? We're both different religions, right? Right. I'm one and she's the other, and my dad, I think, has got a bit of a bee in his bonnet about that. Right. So I think that's maybe part of it. And what, uh, are you a Protestant? No, no. no. You're a Catholic? Yeah. And uh, she's a Protestant? Yeah. Yes. No, I don't have a problem with that. I mm -hmm. was brought up a Catholic, but I'm not a practicing Catholic for the past uh, for 14 years or so since. Right. So you haven't had your your nose inside.